don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. as beautiful as ever. She was fast asleep. Ceres disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. 
Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in the circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Don't bother me, Geralt. I'll trip and fall. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. <sighs> Siri, cut it out. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if- But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect.
Uncle Vasimir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, 
but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain... situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up.
So many corpses, and the war's just started. Too far afield, this. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? I couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Back or go forth? Bird skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Come on now. It's not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Slow now. We 
be going? Help me! Help! It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest or the mountain, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Come on, Roach. Coat of arms, the Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Thank you. 
witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Show me what you got behind the counter. place you got nations on the move some search for kin others just want to get out of the way of the armies they all need food drink and a night's rest in warmth so war's been good for your trade Aye, so far but it'd be best to know peace again times like these you never know what tomorrow will bring there a contract on that griffin Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember. We'd rather not draw any attention. Yeah. The Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking... I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up.
Once more, there are four factions. Four what? Factions! Suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to road, Deem, at your service. Vagrant, that a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is... He's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night, black and white, gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, you done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Ah! Big headstones! 
Put the soldiers' head back on. Word is they laid his corpse to rest. Hush, hush, in the cloak. 